Okay, so somebody named uh, Abo Randa, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, commented in one of my videos, I started to have more than one spirit coming and this makes the message confusing. Still, still unable to figure out how to handle that. So this is when you get more than one person in spirit communicating or possibly more than one spirit. Um, it is super common for that to happen when you're first developing. And it can happen three different ways that I can think of. Uh, one is where you're in a group of people and you give evidence and two separate people say, I can take all of that, I can take all of that, that happens. Or um, one person will say, I understand everything you're saying for two different people in spirit, like my mom and my grandma, everything applies to both women. And you, you actually have two people that have come together. Or one person can say, I understand everything. It applies, for example, to both my mother and my grandmother, but you really only have one person and it coincidentally, what you're saying applies to both and you have to figure it out. So the first thing I'm gonna say, it, again, is it's super common. Uh, it will happen on and off forever, or at least it still happens to me, it still happens to friends of mine. Um, so be open to the idea that you can get more than one person. Um, usually what happens when you get two people is you'll get one more strongly than the other and they'll, one will lead, the first will lead the other one in. Or you'll know you'll have two people and you know you talk about one and then they'll switch to the other person. Eventually it gets to be that way where when you get more than one person, it's, it's much, much more obvious and you kind of just have to practice this and you get to know yourself and how you respond to your connection with people in spirit. But uh, while you're developing and while you're trying to figure this out, I uh, still, before I sit down to do a reading, I intend, I will say out louder in my head, I want one person, <laughs> at least at first. I don't care if you lead other people in, but I want to start with one good communication. So I actually say that in my head. So let's say you have two different people in a circle and they both say, I can take all of that. I can take all of that. Um, one of the one of my earliest experiences when I was first developing, well, early in my development, not when I was first developing, was so frustrating, I wrote it down. Um, I, I, I said to the group, I, I know I have a woman with me. She's in her early 30s. Uh, I know this is a boat related passing. There's a boat or a ship involved. And I know she leaves a, a husband and one child behind. And I'm sure the child is a, a daughter. And this feels I'm in California. And this feels as far away from me that you can get and still be in the United States. So I want to say it's the East Coast. Two different people could take 100% of everything. So I said, okay, I'll keep talking. Um, I, I know that this woman is college educated and um, her job is not just any job. It has a title like attorney or doctor or lawyer, like the accountant. It's, it's a titled job. And I know the daughter is actually a child. It's not just her child, but it's a minor. It's someone under 18. Both people can take all of that. So, um, so when this ha this will happen to you, you will, you will get more and more specific and two people will still stay. They can take all of it or, or the vast majority of whatever you're saying. So keep in mind, first of all, don't get frustrated. Keep in mind you're connecting, which is what your aim is to do, is to connect with people in spirit. You are communicating. Sometimes, so as this happens, you just have to keep giving the information that you're getting and let it play out. Um, sometimes I will, I'll admit, I'll just choose one of the two people and I'll, and I'll, in my head, I'll say, I'm going with this person and I'll kind of demand or, or, or feel into what I'm getting for them. That usually works, but not always. Sometimes the person in spirit is very insistent. Um, so that helps. Sometimes you just have to decide in your own head who you're going to go with more. Um, also, uh, a nice trick that works for a lot of people, certainly works for me, is I'll say, put, put something in my hand, uh, imaginary, and put something in my imaginary hand. And that helps clarify between which two people you've got because um, they'll actually put like a golf club or a paintbrush or whatever in your hand and and I'll do that if I remember when a reading's going slowly or starts to slow down I'll do the put something in my hand trick and that helps pick things up again um, the other way the other thing is when you have one person who says I understand this for um, two different people um, so keep in mind, you may actually have two people or you may have one person and, and there's that similarity, for example, between mother and grandmother. So um, ask yourself, first of all, do I, do I feel like I have two people? And I'll tell you, and this probably doesn't sound like good news, but it does get better. When I was first doing this, it was real common for me to get two people distinctly, two actual different people in spirit. And I felt like it was one. I was sure I only had one person. And, and Either one sitter would say, no, that's two different people, or two completely different sitters would say, no, I can, we can both take everything. So 
over time, the more that I did this, the more I became aware of my own connection and my own feelings and being aware of who is with me. Um, I think I've said in other videos, now I actually feel people in the room with me. I didn't initially feel them in the room or see them in my mind's eye, now I do. So it's really obvious to me when I have two people. Uh, but at first it was not, you just have to practice. You just have to learn how you respond to your connection. Um, it helps if you imagine two different people or two silhouettes of people, I'll do that. And, and your attention will go to more than one than the other and that will help clear it up. Um, Keep in mind that you're connecting, so that's a good thing. Uh, and just keep giving what you're getting and don't make, when this happens to you, no matter how it happens to you, don't make an effort to be good. Don't even make an effort to be accurate because that's what really screws things up is when you are trying like, oh, I have two people and I have to get this right or I have to separate it. You don't really, just keep giving what you're getting and let them figure it out or let them sort it out, which one of them wants to come forward more strongly. Um, I've kind of left it up to them at this point when this happens to me, I'm like, I'm just going to give what I'm getting and one of you just talk louder or be stronger. Um, you also, another trick that's really good and you have to know yourself before you do this is to go with your own strength. So if you see things in your mind's eye more than hearing things or feeling things, uh, whatever your strength is, ask them. I want one of you to only give me visuals if visuals are your thing. I want one of you to say, only give me only auditory stuff. If you're more auditory. So that works too, is to go with your own strength and, and, and just ask them, talk to them in your head. You can also talk to them out loud. Um, I found that helps. I didn't realize actually how much I talk out loud uh, until I started making videos of readings or um, friends in circles commented. They're like, you talk out loud all the time to them because I didn't think that I do that. But you can talk to them and say, I want one of you. One of you come forward more strongly or one of you only give me visuals or whatever it is, whatever your strength is. Um, it's super common and it gets better. That's all I can tell you. You just have to keep at it. You're not, it's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's that you just haven't learned yet quite exactly how you connect. Um, so next week I want to bring up a topic. I hope it's not controversial, but I, I want to say maybe don't take advice from people in spirit. Uh, a lot of people go to mediums wanting advice either from the medium or from their person, their specific loved one in spirit. I don't know if that's such a good idea. I'll tell you why in the video uh, next week. And until then, please um, keep putting your comments or questions in below and I will try to make a video and hopefully you will find it helpful. And um, thank you for watching this one.